Hey, what's up? Nazar Malik here. Welcome to another tutorial. In my previous tutorial, I built uh, Alexa taking out the trash. This was the first of its series. And um, so basically, I'm uh, experimenting with different motors and different parts and stuff to see what works best. Um, I did try to use uh, a cheap Chinese, uh, like tell $12 uh, motor controllers. Uh, they didn't really work out that well, but still, they may be applicable to some other applications or projects, but I'm still going to share those in the separate videos. So I'm, I'm working on the part two on this one, um, and uh, that's gonna be out uh, based on you know, what kind of feedback I get on this one. So check this out. So let's get into this uh, tutorial. So this tutorial, uh, we're gonna be using uh, this uh, Chinese controller is from eBay or Amazon and eBay. It's like 10 bucks or around there without the heatsink and 12 $13 with the heatsink. So I'll suggest you to get this with the heatsink. So in this controller, basically, um, you hook up your hoverboard motor that has uh, three phases and the hall sensors here, uh, connectors. A three phase will be connected like this and you can clearly see the markings on the board itself also. So I marked them so they're easier to see on the, on the video. Uh, so there's a color uh, and there's yellow, uh, blue and green. So they connect right here. And then the uh, power, the, I'm using a LiPo battery that will connect here. And the next, uh, you will look at the um, hall sensors and they will have five wires coming out of the uh, motor. And uh, if you look at on the board itself, uh, I actually took the um, snapshot from the back side of it and I put it here. So uh, the top one is a 5 volt HA, HB, and HC, and then the ground right here. So they all connect in this manner. And then we're going to connect the pod, um, and the pod is going to be connected uh, positive. We'll connect to the first lead, and then the uh, basically the um, VR will connect to the center lead and then the ground will be connected here. So let's set it up. So okay so here I have a, a hoverboard motor set up here mm, and these are hall sensor wires. I will put all the part lists in the video description below. So I'm using this GST connector to connect the three uh, wires for the motor in the yellow, blue and the green and the uh, power wires uh, for my lipo battery so this is the the circuit board that we're going to be using i already installed the um, uh, connectors on each side it's much easier to work with the connectors instead of soldering the wires uh, it's a mess uh, so so i'm going to basically connect uh, this uh, gst connector right here And uh, this is where I need to connect my LiPo battery. Also, I connected the <clears throat> the hall sensor um, wires here. So I'm going to connect these to the connector right here. Pretty good. And then... <clears throat> I have not connected uh, these uh, wires, the control wires yet. Um, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to control it uh, with uh, one of these pods right here. And to talk about the control wires here, uh, how to uh, use these. In the next video, I'll show you how to <clears throat> actually take the Uno and the uh, Node MCU and uh, connecting together through I, I2C protocol and communicate it that way and I have Alexa uh, control this wheel uh, this wheel um, uh, from the cloud uh, that'll be in the next video uh, but in this video I'm going to show you how to connect the board by itself and to control it manually through the pod so next we're going to do is we're going to power up our controller so let's look at this way. So it's pretty simple. So I only um, unshielded the wires I need. I did not unshield the rest of them because I don't want the wire to short. So the basically I need the first, the positive wire on this one. Uh, 
so I need the positive wire on this one and I need the uh, this is the black one I need the negative and I need the green one um, I think which is a VR wire so if I connect the lipo battery and by the way um, I use the hoverboard battery with this one and I think it's 36 volts I'm not sure but uh, this one um, is uh, it's gonna fry your board so don't use this one because I fried a couple of boards with this so either uh, use the um, uh, I'm using this uh, four cell 14.8 I'm not sure if you can see this uh, I'm using this one let's focus uh, so I'm using this one and it works fine I have two of them I also um, use this one and this is just for testing it's not gonna pull much weight and stuff but it's a small one it's easy, easy to work with so I, I'm using these two lipo batteries and uh, so let's connect this up so I'm going to connect this keep it there so now just to test it to make sure everything works so this wire right there green which is VR I believe uh, VR wire um, it basically needs a, a 0 to 5 volt to um, 0 is off 5 volt on so I think if I put the 5 volt to this wire the wheel is going to spin so you can see it if I touch it if I touch it it spins so I want to really like uh, make sure that you guys understand how the these connectors work so now what I'm gonna show you is if I take the ZF wire and I ground it it's gonna change the direction it's going to change the direction so now I'm gonna take my the uh, wire for the VR and give it a positive you can see now it's spinning on a different direction so let's hook it up with the pod and then we'll take it from there so um, let me un unplug this so I'm gonna be using this pod right here and uh, we're gonna hook up three wires so I connected the pod to the three wires and uh, uh, and you can see if I I gotta be careful here so so pod is connected so now I'm gonna move this uh, slowly and see that you'll see the motor going I can stop it I can make it fast I mean, I have uh, uh, this uh, this uh, motor sitting loosely on table with the uh, wrench on it. If I run it too fast, it'll probably fly off the table. Oh, but let me see how fast can I go. So it is. Yeah, it's see, it could go pretty fast. So it's, this is pretty simple. I mean, it, it is not much to it, and you can see I uh, connected these three. Uh, wires right there I did because it's just temporary I'm not gonna do really anything with it and you can see that this is connected to here and I can control it with my uh, uh, this pod right there so that was pretty simple setup let me unplug this mm. and I did uh, uh, the issue with this controller basically I, I talked about it in the video uh, previously and the uh, Alexa taking out the trash that uh, this controller doesn't have any brakes so that means if you uh, need to control this motor uh, and going into the let's say downhill direction and the, sp the wheel is spinning and uh, the wheel is free there's no uh, stopping torque on it uh, if uh, if your uh, item or whatever you uh, pushing downhill uh, it has a lot of momentum weight is gonna go even faster and there's no way to stop it so controlling it's really really hard and uh, also the switching the direction uh, on it it 
it's not it doesn't do it uh, the controller uh, will wait for a wheel to stop before it um, I think switches are already doesn't switch it fast enough so I'm not sure what the problem is but I can't switch it um, fast enough to control the movement uh, I was thinking about in the code if I could do it uh, while it's going uh, down and control the speed and if it's trying to go too fast maybe reverse it but I can't do that on it so there's no I tried uh, different ways and it doesn't really work with this controller so this is it for the, this uh, tutorial it's a simple demo uh, because uh, I'm not gonna be using this controller uh, for the next Alexa taken out the trash I have a different controller that I got and it looks very promising it's an open source controller they're 130 bucks a piece it's very very pricey I do have a few other controllers I'm looking at they're very cheap but the problem is uh, I sent multiple uh, emails to the vendor and I never got any response back so hopefully I can get those controllers and test them for you and tell you you know for the price range and uh, performance wise which one would be the best one to play around with this controller has two versions 24 and 48 volts I got this one I should have gotten the uh, 48 volt one but that's fine and it can control uh, two motors and so um, <clears throat> it's pretty good it looks pretty promising and it has the brakes and everything and it has a lot of functionality it's open source so I'm playing around with this one and uh, probably in the next video when we'll show we'll show you the Alexa um, taking the trash out and bring it back okay guys so this is it for this tutorial until uh, next time bye